In this lesson, we're going to take a look at global pop-ups. Now these operate in a slightly different way to what we've already seen, however they do share a lot of similarities. So first of all, let's take a look at how we go about creating them, because that's just a little bit different. We're not going to link this to a button, we're going to link this to a condition or a trigger, for example, on page exit. So let's take a look at creating the pop-up, and then we can take a look at setting those conditions. So to create your pop-up, you simply come to the CMS menu in the top left. We choose the option for pop-ups and alerts. And inside there, we can go ahead now and add a new pop-up. So we'll select that and we'll give it a name. We'll call it on exit and we'll hit the option to make this published so we don't forget a little later. We'll hit save changes and that's now created the pop-up. Once you've created it, we can come in and start to edit it. So we'll click the edit option. And that will open up the normal Brizzy editor. So now we can go ahead, click on the plus, and you can see this now only shows us the pop-ups. So like we saw in the previous example, all our categories are available on the left-hand side. We've also got a range of templates, saved pop-ups if we've saved our own, and if we create global pop-ups, they'll be listed inside this tab. For now, let's go ahead and just use an option for sale. So this is going to just remind someone that they can get a discount when they go ahead and try to exit the site. So let's just choose this option, we'll select it, and there we go, we've got an example of what this looks like. So now if we want to make some changes to this, we can do that. So let's just say we're going to offer 20% off on this example, and if you want to add any other options in, you can do that. So once you've finished creating or modifying your pop-up, you're ready then to set the conditions to trigger this. To do that, we come to the top right-hand corner, and we use the little pop-out menu. Inside here, you can do a range of different things like set the background color, overlays, those kinds of things. You can also adjust the positioning and various other design-related features. However, what we're interested in is the first option, which is the pop-up option. If we select that, you can see inside there, we can set a few parameters and also set the conditions that are going to be used. Now, most of these are relatively obvious. For example, scroll page behind allows the page to scroll behind the pop-up. The Make It Global will make this a global pop-up and available everywhere and also available in the browser where we can see the global options. For now though, we're going to concentrate simply on the display conditions. Let's choose that option and inside there we've got triggers, which is the action that will actually cause this to open. And we've got conditions and this is where it's going to be used or viewed. So first of all, let's concentrate on the triggers. You can see we can trigger this pop-up only once. So if we don't want to annoy a potential customer, well, we can go ahead and set this so it only pops up one time. For now, we'll leave that as it is. You've then got the option for when do you want this to be triggered. As you can see, we've got a range of different options, things like on click, after inactivity, or page exit intent. For this option, we're going to choose the on page exit intent, so when someone tries to exit the page, the pop-up will appear. We can, if we want to, set additional triggers inside you. So you could say you want to add another one. So you might say that on page load, after X number of seconds, say for example 10 seconds, that it'll open up then as well. For now though, let's just remove that and stick to just the one trigger. Let's hop over to the conditions option and we can say, where do you want to display this? Now you might have different pop-ups for different parts of your site. And this is where you can set the conditions up for where they'll be displayed. You can see we can include, we can also go ahead and exclude. So this allows you to be as broad or as specific as you want. For now though, we'll just set this to include all pages. You can see though, we can really go in and refine this. And again, you can set up multiple conditions to get really granular in where and when you want to display. Okay, so we've set everything we want. The triggers and conditions are done. Let's hit save. And let's close this dialog box down. Now we're going to go ahead and update this page. And let's go ahead and test this out. So here's our page we just created with our pop-up. Let's go ahead and try to leave the page. And there we go. Our pop-up now appears ready to help people make a purchase, stay on our site, what do we actually want them to do? That's how easy it is to create these more advanced global-based pop-ups.